you know, if you were probably to tell me um, some of the achievements and, and things I would have accomplished this year, if you had told me that last year, I would have told you you're dreaming. So I was about six and um, I actually went to my mate's footy game, was under nines, and I was just meant to be watching. Uh, so I rocked up in my trackies and, and you know, a big jacket, and uh, I was freezing that morning. And, um, and they were white shorts, so, you know, they were looking around and they looked to me, and I was just put my hand up, going, I'll fly, I'll fly. Um, and yeah, got on the field in my trackies, running around, and just, just loved it, yeah. So I moved down to school when I was 14, moved down to boarding school and, um, and you know, being in Northern you don't get, you know, that much variety of opposition, you, you know, sort of playing against the same two or three teams every week. Um, and sort of when I went, when I moved down and started playing for Aquinas and, and the Manning Ripper Junior Footy Club, um, you know, I started, started going all right and, you know, that's probably where it took off. Robertson just rips it out of the Vic Country player's hand. My uncle, um, Played 270 odd games for the Eagles. He was you know, captain for a few years, so um, and I'm talking about Darren Glass. So, um, and yeah, he's been really involved in, in my life and uh, my footy career. So it's been really good. It's over for the first time in 10 years. Western Australia are champions of the under-18 competition. You know, if you're probably to tell me um, some of the achievements and, and things I would have accomplished this year. If you had told me that last year, I would have told you you're dreaming. But, um, you know, I put in a lot of work over the summer and then, um, you know, I had a lot of confidence in my game that, you know, I'd be able to, I was, more, I was a lot fitter than I was and I was running out of games a lot better. I was getting to more contests. So, you know, I knew that, um, that I had that, that capability in me, so it was good. I'm working at uh, primary school this year. Um, just as sort of a little job, which which has been great. So I'm mostly with the PE teacher doing, you know, assistant PE, PE work. So that's been really good. I, you know, go to school and um, and it turns out I'm not even the best footy player at the school. The year sixes tell me regularly that they can beat me and they're better than me. So it um, definitely keeps you grounded. And no, nah, it's, it's been great. I've, I've been loving it. The thing about Devin is he's, he's actually very grounded. And he's, he's, and I think that probably comes from his upbringing. He's a country boy as well, but he's very careful not to get too far ahead of himself, and that doesn't come across at all. And I guess that's probably um, why he does like coming here too. The, the kid, the kids just treat him as Devon, you know. They don't look at him as his potential superstar. But I'm sure and certain when he does get drafted, he'll come back in his gear and provide footy jumpers for the P and F raffles and things like that. So I just love, you know, every aspect of it. To um, you know, playing with your mates, um, you know, competing against the opposition, competing, you know, even at training, um, you know, to, to make yourself better. I just I just love everything about it. Yeah.